Sunday morning mass in Gaza is a reminder that the status of Jerusalem, just an hour's drive from here, matters to Palestinian Christians as much as it does to Palestinian Muslims. Under Israel's blockade, it's as hard for the parishioners of St. Porphyrius to visit the site of Christ's crucifixion as it is for Muslims to visit the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Jerusalem is for the three religions. We recognize it only as the eternal capital of Palestine. Jerusalem is our dignity. It's the city of peace. As a Christian, Trump's decision doesn't represent me, because Jerusalem is the eternal capital of Palestine. Jerusalem is where all prophets, Muslims and Christians lived. It's a worthy capital of the Palestinians and we'll never give it up. As Christians, we don't recognize Trump's decision. St. Porphyrius is one of the oldest churches in the world. It was founded in 407 AD, almost 200 years before the birth of Islam's prophet Muhammad. It serves Gaza's dwindling community of about a thousand Orthodox Christians. How could he recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel? I feel sad when he uh, said that because he should uh, stand uh, interbeat between the, the Palestinians and the, the, the Israelis to, to solve the problem of, of, of uh, the conflict. Confrontation and conflict may be the most visible outlets for frustration and anger here, but for many, prayer is just as powerful. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Gaza.